Over the last three or four months, I've been feeling a lot more lonely than usual, especially with women. That crave for love, that crave for the perfect girl that you believe will solve all your problems in life. I won't procrastinate anymore. I wouldn't be lonely anymore. I wouldn't care about the materialistic things in life as much that put a lot of stress on you sometimes. For a lot of us men out there and women, that perfect person solves, or you believe will solve 99% of your problems in life. I don't know if that's the case, who knows? It's been hitting the hard last these, these, these last few months, bro. My schoolwork isn't the best. I'm not very productive. I come home from school, I catch myself scrolling on social media because I have this subconscious loneliness feeling in my mind. When I look myself in the mirror, I only see what I, could I, I can improve on. I don't look at my wins already. I basically look at myself as an ugly piece of shit, not to be a victim, it's true, my expectations on life are very high, which is a good thing, but it sometimes gets you. I don't see myself as like a young king that I used to at 16, 17, with a lot of potential. I just see what I need to work on, what I could do better, yeah? Oh, my jawline ain't the best. Oh, my fucking cancel to it ain't positive, yeah? All this type of shit, bro, it fucks with you, it fucks with your mental health. This, this type of shit. Especially social media or comparing yourself, it hurts, bro. And that affects every single area of your life. All the little things start to lose their beauty. Playing games with the boys on the weekends doesn't feel as fun anymore. Talking to your parents is like a job because you'd be rather be talking to that perfect girl. And I look myself in the mirror every single day, not to come off as a victim, but it's simply the truth. And I wonder if I'll ever meet that special someone, that, you know, that one person, I'll ever get to live my dream life with them. I, I, I wonder that every single fucking day. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So if you if you have similar if you have similar thoughts, bro, it's hundred percent, hundred percent normal, hundred percent. But last week was a really good week for me. I had a really productive week, right? I did I studied every single day, which sometimes I procrastinate with studying. I uploaded two shorts today. I got a YouTube video out, and I remember looking myself in the mirror Saturday night, and it was the first time I looked myself in the mirror and actually smiled, and it blew my mind away because I didn't even notice. But I wasn't smiling at myself. I was only seeing the negatives, bro. That little pimple on the, on the side of my cheek. You, your, your dream wife isn't gonna be attracted to that. You ain't making enough money yet. What, what, what are you doing, bro? You can't be relaxing. Yeah, this, this ambitious mindset that really got to me. Ambition can have its uh, destruction as well. And that's something I've learned over the last few months, bro. That's for another video though. So because I had a productive week, I relaxed a little bit. I sat down and I watched a TV show called NCIS. Now, the real ones will know that I had not like a crush on the, the, the girl in that show. I was feeling very lonely and she was like the only woman that I was really, you know, exposed to other than the girls at my school. But the girls on TV come off as really perfect. So I was naturally attached to her. But I sat down and watched an episode with, with her in it. Yeah. And it was the first time I didn't, actually feel attached to her in the show. I didn't end the show feeling sad. I didn't end the show feeling lonely, wanting to watch another episode, even though I know I should be getting to bed. I felt proud of myself. And maybe that was because I subconsciously believed that I actually deserve a high quality woman because I actually had a productive week. Yeah, even though I, I have more productive weeks than 99% of people. Yeah, I've been in this game for a while. You know what I mean? I do what I need to do. But sometimes I can scroll on my phone and get distracted for 10, 20 minutes. And that's a lot of fucking time. So I went to bed Saturday night, actually feeling, feeling like that young king again. Not out of ego, out of confidence, oh, with, with potential, yeah? I'm looking forward to the future. I went to bed Saturday night with that, with that feeling. Wake up Sunday and I feel great, yeah? This is last week. I have an amazing Sunday, I record videos, I'm feeling my best self. Then I wake up Monday morning and looking at how my reel on Instagram had performed the night before. I don't, I don't stress about it, I'm just looking at how many views it has. And the first video on my Reels page, I just subconsciously hit the Reel page, is of a little sad video, basically amplifying the feeling of loneliness within men. Not having girls, you know, never getting that dream wife, you know, never having that dream girl. And it hit me, bro. It hit me again. I, I fell in back into that victim mentality that I wasn't good enough. And yes, it can motivate you, but at this point, it's not motivation, it's fucking self-destruction. So I put the phone down, I didn't touch it because I know this feeling only has its negatives. I can just, I can still be motivated without this feeling because I'm naturally more motivated from when I feel good about myself, not when I feel bad about myself. Get home Monday, do my work, have a really productive day, yeah? I look myself in the mirror. Shit, what was that? A big ass bird or something. Looks like a bat, bro. Batman around? <laughs> no, anyways. 
I look myself in the mirror Monday night and I have the realization that someone out there, a woman, is fantasizing about the man I am right now. Just like I'm fantasizing about my dream wife every single day. Yeah, it's definitely dropped, but a few months ago I was like that. Someone out there is fantasizing about the person like I am, yeah, inside. Maybe outside too, but the person I am inside. And it's the same with you. Someone out there is fantasizing about you. Someone out there, if you know them or you don't, is admiring you. And might not be you personally. Like with me, I don't know the person I want to get with when I'm older. I don't really know the person yet, but I know the type of person. I have an idea. Someone else, I can almost guarantee you, 7 billion people on this planet are thinking about the type of person you are. And it's probably someone that you find very, very attractive as well. But Jack, I'm a pathetic loser, bro. I'm a fucking loser. No one's even thinking about me. Well, they might not be thinking about you now, like your current self. Maybe you're not the, your, your best version right now. But they're definitely admiring your best version of yourself. They're definitely admiring your best version, bro. 100%. It's all about you just putting in that work and focusing on you. Yeah? Someone is admiring your soul, your the best version of you that you can put out onto this earth. Someone is admiring that. I remember when my, uh, my grandma used to say to me that when I was like 13, 14, that I bet all the chicks want you, bro. I bet you can choose from a whole row of girls at your school. I never believed that. Yeah, that wasn't really the truth. But then again, she was more right than I was. Your grandma's right, bro. When she says that you deserve all the chicks, that I bet all the chicks are into you. She's probably right. You're just operating at a different level. If you are operating at your best level, bro, just imagine that shit. You know what I mean? You have to choose from anyone. <laughs> no, but being honest, bro, you know, grandmas, bro, they, they live in the real world. You're living on social media. You're living in a wor world of filter. You're living in a world of, you know, where people are obsessing over looks maxing, but they're forgetting the inside. It actually makes up a person, yeah? And I can almost guarantee you, the person that you dream of, especially if you consistently watch my content, you're more into like the deep side of life. You don't want the person obsessing over looks maxing and shit like that. Of course, attraction is definitely important, but it's what's in here. Your heart, your intentions, your purity is attractive to a lot of fucking people. And once I adopted this mindset, I've been feeling, I've been, been feeling good again, bro. That's the least I can say. Get out in the real world more, bro. Get off the phone, whatever you're watching this on. You are more attractive than you think you are. A lot more attractive than you think you are. So stop this fucking destructive mindset. Unless it works for you. Unless looking yourself in the mirror, thinking you're a pathetic loser, it works for you, it motivates you, go ahead. But if it doesn't, bro, and it's only leading to mental health issues, <laughs> stop that shit. You don't deserve it. Your future self don't deserve it. All right, it's getting dark. I've got to head home. But I hope you found value in this one. It's very important. And it's something I wish I knew about three or four months ago. All right, we can, we're both learning on this journey, bro. I'm no better than you, you're no better than me. All right, we're in this together. Much love, brother. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.